Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or a welcome to my channel if this is your first time. Today we are starting a brand new game, and uh, this one actually showed up in my comment section quite a lot, so I'm quite excited to check it out. Uh, there seems to be a quite polarizing opinion about it, either people absolutely love it and everything about it, or uh, they just don't. So I wonder which camp I'm going to fall into, and uh, hopefully it's the former. But uh, anyway, I am excited to check it out. The music so far has been so sweet, so I have high hopes for it. <laughs> um, anyway, let's get into it. Wake up. Didn't I? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I see. I see. What is? Is this? Uh, okay, sleeping bag. That's great. Oh. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, it's on fire. I don't want it. Don't want it on fire. <laughs> I guess I didn't like it. Can we do another? Toast it slowly. He really wants to put it on fire. Okay, this one he did like. All right, that's good. Okay, um, put away. I can doze off too? What is this? Okay. I wish I could read this. If there's even anything on there. Maybe not. Oh, I love these things. It's like a all-in-one tool. I love it. Okay, uh, person, hello. You have a lot of eyes. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go. I'm ready if you are. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? Yeah, are you? That was only problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the lunch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Not having second thoughts, are you? Where are the launch codes again? How's the ship looking? How safe would you say the thing is? What's my mission once I'm in space? What else should I do before lift off? Ah, uh, yeah, what is it? Hey, you're the pilot. You tell me. Aren't you pilot type all eager to get out there and explore for yourselves? I see. So that's the kind of game this is. Choose your own adventure. Doesn't matter if you go to the moon or Brittle Hollow or just the other side of Timber Hearth. It's all the same to me. Get out there and have fun. Just don't hurt the ship. That's all I ask. <laughs> this is interesting. Okay, so figure out your own mission. I can see how that would be a problem for a bunch of people. Can I jump? Oh, I can. Hold? Oh, I can jump higher this way. Um, I don't know why I'm going this way, but I am. 
The gravity on this planet is a little... questionable. Oh, another person. Hi. Hi, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going to go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. <laughs> hey, I'm still going. I want to practice with a pro before I leave. I do, actually. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you've got. <laughs> I am probably going to fail it horribly. Fly the model ship. Okay, so leave... Wait, leave is B. Horizontal thrust is with the left stick. Down, up, thrust. Okay. So that's down. That's up. <laughs> Did I do it? Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see, I see. Ah! No! Shit! <laughs> okay, so physics are fully at play here. Got it. So, alright, let's do it. I got closer. I did it. Alright, so as, as long as I don't start flipping the ship, I think I should be fine. you <laughs> all right landing upside down <laughs> oh this is so messed up <laughs> Yeah, I am so fucked. <laughs> Alright, well, this is gonna be interesting. Let's just say that. Um, please don't, don't talk down to me. Wow, that was just like the time the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. <laughs> you'll, you'll be okay flying the big one, right? Probably not, honestly. Okay, you don't say anything else. Alright, well, I failed miserably. I guess that's fine. What all do we have here? Hi! Is this soup? Or is this grease? Profi? Ayo, hatchling! I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. I don't want to be rude to the guy right away. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Okay. So, um, this might be wine then in that case. What is in here? Hi. 
Can I open you? No, I can't. Okay. Outer Wilds Ventures presents postcards from Orbit. Ooh. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Heart. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of your village. Oh, how, how do I do that? Oh! Oh, that's so cool! Where's the village? I'm seeing the geyser. Yes, there it is. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. That's a good view. I like it. <laughs> uh, there's a person. Ooh, what is that? This pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in the Harthian history. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing we will have the same seat, or similar anyway. What is that? Oh, look at that! It's the little ship! Okay. Another blank sheet of paper. What is this? Is this... Like a... I don't know, a sonar? Or something? Okay... Ooh! That looks like a jetpack! That's awesome. Do I have a jetpack? I don't even know what I look like. I'm guessing I look like the, the other people here. Let's talk to you. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. <laughs> I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. All I know is between the space program and Micah's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Well, it doesn't help that I'm the one piloting it. What can I do for you? Are you going to watch the launch? Do you really worry that the space program will burn the village down? I'm good. Of course! I'll be watching from a safe distance, obviously, and mostly to make sure nothing catches fire. But watching nonetheless. Alright, does the wine person say anything else? Because I kind of ignored him for the second time around. Oh, the astronaut returns. Tell me what I can do for you. Any new dirt? What are you up to? Yeah, what are you up to? I've just finished stealing up another, sealing up another batch of sap wine for aging. I like to begin aging a batch on the day of a significant occasion, you know? That's why there are so many bottles labeled structural collapse and house fire. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm hoping to teach Esker to tap trees next time they return from the Adel Rock. If they'll bring me lunar sap, I can attempt moon wine. Ooh! That's... that could be our mission. We could find him some lunar sap. Let's look around more. This geyser is super loud, by the way. Uh... Ooh, ooh, there's... there's something up there, too. And Marl. So, it's launch day, huh? Hal's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? The big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program, just say the word. The current launch pad is fine, thanks. Nice try. 
We all know you have it out for that tree. The launch pad is flammable. <laughs> what? No, I just think it's in the way and someone might... Someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. <laughs> you think it has to do... It has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? A tree has got to come in. <laughs> if you swung by the moon, say hi to ask her for me. Okay, so... Okay. So, if we actually get to launch eventually... Going to the moon seems to be a good option. Get us some loon looter. Nice. Ooh. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leading the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the traveler's instruments. Where's the observatory? Just saying hi before I leave. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know? Let me see. There's... Cherts, drums, Rybeck, banjo, and Gabro's flute. Is that something we can find too? And Feldspar's harmonica, of course, though Feldspar's has been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signaloscope and track them down. Ooh, that's an interesting tidbit of information. Trouble is, every time a Herthian, Her Herthian leaves for outer space, that's one less musician in our orchestra. So, did you need something? Where's the observatory? It's questions like that what make us worried about you going up into space on your own, you know? The observatory is up the path behind the waterfall. There are a couple of signs marking the way, but really, you just keep going up and then hook a right when you get to... The zero G cave? What? Oh, that's out of tune. Badly. Oh, well, I didn't need to ask, I suppose. Okay, then. Wait, what does that sign say? Launch tower, okay. This doesn't open either, does it? Okay, what all I can do? I can jump. What is this? What did I just do? There's so many! Oh, this one's moving. Wait. That's the me- Oh my god! That's the banjo, I'm assuming? Wait, who had the banjo? Okay, how do I put this away? Alright, good. <laughs> Did you need something? Uh, yes, tell me. Drums, banjo, flute, harmonica. Okay, so that was the banjo, definitely. That is so intriguing. What else do I have? Hello? Oh, that's the waterfall. Okay. Hi. Oh, there's two of you. I did not realize that. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker, what's with the radio? 
we wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signaloscope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, can we use your signaloscope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios and you'll use your signaloscope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. I have multiple eyes. Just like them, I guess. Okay, so I need to find them. Oh, there's one. How do I get to you, though? Ooh! Hello. Ah, you found me. But my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you'll have to find both of us, okay? I can get out of here. I see. This way. Ah, there's one. <laughs> I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Oh, that was so cute. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's the banjo person. And they probably won't be here anymore, huh? No, they will not. There's a ladder up above to that place. Can I get up there? Probably not. Okay then. This doesn't open either. None of the houses are openable. <laughs> Zero G cave and observatory. All right, let's see. He's still hanging out there. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? Guess we'll be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, giant steep, that's where I'd go. Why is that? I need to find hornbills. One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough with the waves, but couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was, I guess, too dark. Gabro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly, Gabra couldn't go any further. Giant Steep has a current you can't pass through. I underestimated how boring this would be. Oh, that's so rude. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go any deeper. It held Gabro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabra saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast! Was the sapling involved during Gabra's Gampire story? Is that all true? Let's be scared. I mean, that's what Gabra said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabra out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know? Make sure you bring some back with you. Looking for hornfells. He should be up above, right? Oh, them? I'd bet today's hall. I'd bet today's hall. They're in the observatory. All right. Not that I've caught anything yet. But if I had, I'd definitely bet it. Hornfells is pretty much always in the observatory. Okay, let's go then. I gotta check out that zero G cave too. Whatever that is. 
Why does it suddenly feel like I'm so much lower to the ground? Oh, the blessed quiet. Oh my gosh. What is that? That's amazing! I want to go to that planet, whatever that is. Is that the moon? Oh, there's that! Oh my gosh. Wow. Hello, you. What? Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? What the hell is ghost matter? Gossen said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling. As ghost matter evaporates. Ooh. It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome. <laughs> I don't know, it looks kind of dangerous. Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. You shouldn't be throwing rocks in there. Ghost matter is dangerous. You know ghost matter is how... Tektite lost their foot, right? Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand is on fire. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. It's so cool that little scouts can detect ghost matter and all, but what would be really cool is if the little scouts could, like, shoot ghost matter and stuff. Pew pew pew! Uh, what are the little scouts and where can I get some? Okay! So this stuff hurts us. I got scared of nothing. Oh, the zero G cave! Danger! Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that'll that's invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is, you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Hornfills. Um, camera... Let's see, I thought I figured out how to do it, didn't I? Uh, this isn't really camera. Oh, there's different zoom levels? Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. I gotcha. Okay. Maybe I'll find the camera later. And look down. Oh, that's very deep. That is super deep. So, I want to test this. I might die? No, I don't want to test this. Not like this anyway. Use camera? Oh! Wow! That's so cool! Okay. Zero G cave. Hello. Hi. Dawson. Oh, we've heard about you. What, what happened to your eye? Hey, I thought I might see you before lunch. Nerves getting the better of you? Right. Like you weren't nervous on your first flight. I'm a little nervous, yes. Are you kidding? I'm a natural. No. <laughs> I am definitely not. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. 
But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully, that lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. So, listen. There's a satellite, unquote, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment. Set up down in the zero-g cave and in need of repairs. Oh! If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave, or don't, so long as you're, you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. Nah, I'm ready for the real deal. I am so not ready. <laughs> cool, get to it. And try not to concuss yourself right before your first lunch. I cannot promise you that. So how is it that they have a zero-g cave inside of their planet? They don't seem terribly technologically advanced, although this looks like stars all of a sudden. Oh, dark. Thank you. This is so pretty! How is this so pretty? Okay... Wow. But hey, we are learning all sorts of controls now. I am very excited about it. Oh my gosh. Um, suit up. Whoa. <gasps> I'm going up there. I have fuel. That's not good. What is he mining? What was the... Wait. Where was it? Nope. Oh, okay. Got it. Hi! Hey, hey! Nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some zero-G time in. Give me the dirt. The above guy said the same thing. Guess where I'm going today? Some fresh dirt? Not much happening down here lately, let me think. Come to think of it, tech tight. Saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Oh, hey, how about that? Yeah, they were on Firewatch with the old scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said that to Tech Tight once. Pretty rude how long they laughed for, if you ask me. I see. Hey, you're back. You need something? So you're going in there? In the cave? What? No, I'm fine. Great. Great and fine. You don't look fine. Yeah, I'm going to drift around in there for a while. Well, you know I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Now I've got hand sweats. I... I can relate. So I'm going in there, huh? Right in there, probably. Where does this go? <gasps> oh god. I did not realize that jumping would be so different. Um, right. I still have my flashlight on. I hope that guy didn't get upset about me using it on him in his face. Ooh. <laughs> um, okay. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Right in the cave we go. <laughs> the fuel is being used up quite easily. Um, right. Oh my goodness. I'll probably die. Well, let's do it. Oh my god. Oh! Velocity matched. I see. Oh, that's kind of cool. Duct tape. Love it. Okay, so where's the other? Oh my god. <laughs> How do I get in these situations where I need to be in outer space? Because I find it terrifying. Okay, matching velocity seems to be the key. Two out of three. All right, where's the other one? I hear it. Oh, God. I'm not seeing it, though. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Got it. I'm magicking those wires. Okay, now I need to get out of here. Let's see. I did it. And I hit the rock. Okay. Alright. So I can't get up there quite easily, I don't think. Woo, God, God. Right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, there's nothing to it, sadly. Uh, is that a flask? <laughs> I do need to get up there, though. Whoop! Okay, 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 stop, 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 stop! <laughs> Alright, I, I did it! You're back! You need something? Getting in some DRG time, guess I'm going. Guess where I'm going today? Oh no, 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 no way. You want to run off into space? That's your business. But don't make me, you know, think about it. Bad enough we got this weird cave down here. Isn't it just? Okay, I think this is the exit. Yeah, that's where the suit is. Return suit. Okay, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so we practiced. That's good. Now I can finally go talk to Hornfeld. Hello! Nicely done! Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurling <laughs> through space. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything. I'll try. No promises, though. I can see you're itching to get off this rock. 
So go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. <laughs> Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you, got it? I'll try, but no promises. I love the music in this game, it's so good! Hi! Oh, that's my ship! What is that? Hello? Moraine! Oh! Oh, hello, astronaut! This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Is it about to be daytime? What are you up to? Any good sounds from space today? Sounds? Oh, that's right. There are. My sig signal scope is set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Last night, I heard Rybeck's banjo coming from Brill Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. Okay, so that was on Brill Hollow then that I heard it. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of the day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signaloscope signal scopes are cool. That's that is super cool. Let's see, what are you listening to? I saw a planet somewhere. Is that harmonica? Well, was. Yeah, right there. Oh, it's coming from over here. Where were you? This is awesome! I can't see what I'm pointing at. Wow, okay. No, this is, this is so great. I heard it. Hello again. Haven't you been up in this tree a while? Any good sounds from space today? There are. Okay. Okay. I am concerned Marl will cut down this tree if there's no one on it, so I don't want to leave it for too long. Okay, that's fair. Mayor R Rutai? says Marl isn't supposed to cut it down, but I don't think they see eye to eye on this one. I'll still watch your lunch, though. I'll have a good view from up here. That's true, and it's daytime, officially. What is up here? Wait, what just happened? There are so many planets to go to. Hello. I saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north and figured I should go check it. You can use the scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone from Tech Type. Can I go investigate that smoke too? The sun is moving very quickly. Or maybe our planet is rotating very quickly because it's teeny. Scout launcher. Um, aim launcher. Uh, where, how do I know where north is? What does this say? South. Thank you, game. Quantum Grove Crater. Northwest, Geyser Mountain. It's about to be nighttime again. 
North, Young Bart Crater. East, Nomai Ruins. Okay, um, well, while we still have a little bit of light left, I am so intrigued by all of these planets. This is the moon. Okay, got it. I need to go there. It's got to be the moon. It looks like the moon. It may not be, for all that I know. Launch. Retrieve? Oh! Okay. Let's do it again. There's the smoke. I need to see it. Okay. That is super cool. So, we did not find the observatory. Probably because we didn't go to the right place. Or went too far. Yeah, observatory is this way, clearly. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before your launch. I've got zero G training. Yep, we already did that. Man. I am so excited to see what the hell is up with this game. Can I get up there? Oh. <laughs> am I going to die if I get in the water? I wonder. Okay! This must be it. I think we just made a circle. That's okay. Can I... I gotta be able to get in there. Yeah. Ooh! Nope, read. Outer Wilds Ventures, Timber Hearth first and only space program, was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Parthian to be intentionally launched into space. I like that little detail. Intentionally. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings to our moon, the Adelrock. Cool. What is this? Hornfells, Gossan, Feldspar, Esker, and Slate. Is one missing? Or is the missing one taking the picture? Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Clockwise, room top left. Hornfels, Gossen, Slate, and Feldsbar. So Esker is missing then. Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wild Ventures, without whom we would have never gotten off the ground. Oh, these are the credits. I like it. That's awesome. Who are you? Hal. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tool. In that girl fly too. Okay, I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. <laughs> Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Ha ha, oh geez, do not break it. <laughs> Ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. I'm terrified. I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? New statue, of course. Just here for the lunch codes. 
Yes, I am totally here for the statue. They haven't heard. Gabro brought it back with them from Giant's Deep, and Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there. You hear? So this is Nomai. Oh, they have one central eye. Well, three eyes, but one in the center. This is wild. What does that say? This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwell in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. How curious. That is interesting. Hmm. Okay, this is the museum. New exhibit. Awesome. The radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite. And to this day, still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the Deep Space Satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. Very awesome. Let's see. So we got... One, two, three, four, five, six planets and a satellite. I see. Uh, this is another exit. That is looking interesting. Ooh, new day. Very nice. Let's see. What do we got? Wait. That's five. Hi. How did I count six? Or maybe six is the one that we're on. Okay. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen to helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the new, the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Right. That's the supernova, huh? If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements, like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity, and then explode in a violent event called supernova. Based on Chariot's observation, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Ooh, that's cool looking too. Look at that. What is this? Oh, this crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Ooh. I would like to. How do I do that? What? What? That's awesome! <laughs> That's so fun! <laughs> okay, I got it. 
The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depth of space. That's what we did with the photos. What is this? What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for a living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that uh, Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomai Nomayan ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Okay. Aside from the dwellings and structure they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets, and if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno-Archaeological Expeditions. That is kind of cool looking, isn't it now? Yeah. Ooh! Ooh, what? Cassaba? We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says... Calibrating the device won't take long. Helix, fortunately, the Adel Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. What is this? Why can't I translate that? That is some language. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai texts often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. That is awesome. Yet again. So... Curiously, did they... Did Harthians name their moon first, or did they just translate the Nomai writing? Whoa! <laughs> okay. Timber Hearth, you are here. Hourglass Twins. Brittle Hollow. Oh, it's got its own moon. Giant's Deep. Dark Bramble. This must be the satellite, then. And whatever this is... On the outside here. Oh, ooh, I can rotate. That's awesome. Okay. Zoom. The Adel Rock is here. So this crater... No, this is the other crater. I want to see... Wait, what is that? What is this? What is that thing? Ash twin, ember twin. Huh. Okay. Giant steep and dark bramble. And you, whatever you are, that one is not moving. 
Interesting. And you are just exploded. That's amazing. Giant's Deep has whatever this stuff orbiting it and a moon. And the brittle hollow. Hollow's lantern, I see. Okay. So much to explore. What are you? Can't see you anymore. Oh, that's the satellite. I see. Okay, then. That must be Hornfills. Let's see. Hornfills observations. This is incredible. At first, I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than the previously imagined. That is terrifying and a very real thought. I think I need to sit down. Yes, I can relate to that. Right, let's finally talk to Hornfels. Hi. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your walk. work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I'll meet up with the other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I'm gonna wing it. I think I'll start with something small. You'd prefer to ease into things. That's a sensible plan. More sensible than most of our astronauts tend to be, and that's a fact. Do you think you'll go to the Adelrock then? Our moon would be a safe place to travel and to get your bearings in space. And I'm sure Esker would appreciate the visit. Plus, we don't know the ancient Nomai runes on the moon are, or why they were built. You could put your new translator tool through its paces. Yes! Well then, it looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. I'm ready to die in space. That's dark. <laughs> Excellent. You'll be needing launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before sleep makes you many more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Launch codes. Do I need to write this down? Let me see. Let's do that. So, dash, dash, vertical, dash, dot, dot, vertical, dash. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, there's another dot. Alright. Let's see if I need to plug it into something. Let's go! Let's get into space. Wait a second. I haven't gone here yet. What is this? That looks weird. Wait! Wasn't there a thing here? Where'd he go? I swear there was something. A strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. Oh, look at this! Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree that the effect is extremely creepy. There you are. You are observed right now. Can I turn around? Yep. Perfect. <laughs> That's cool. 
All right. I'm sorry. What was that? Why did you do that? Why do I have a dot on my screen? Look right into your eyeball. I... I don't... I don't know. It... it's weird. Okay, so... Launch Tower is here. Hi! Hey, hey! So, did you get a good look at the Nomai statue? The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Yes. Whoa, whoa! The statue was doing what? So its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? You know what? Don't worry about it. No, that statue's definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? That's my question. Hornfells tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more? On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez. Now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck. Safe flying. Okay, then. That was bizarre. So I could have gone this way all the way from the get-go. Instead of going all, all around. What does that do? Can I use it? Activate lift. Um, I don't know about that yet. Hello? Nefra? What you doing here? Hello, astronaut! You're going into space today. Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? What? Don't worry, I'll come back. That's pretty disturbing. Yeah, um, Hornfell said Feldspar went away into space and didn't come back. Hornfell says Feldspar was the best pilot ever, but no one knows what happened to them. Hornfells probably shouldn't be telling you stuff like this. That's not something I want to think about right now. Yeah, I don't know about this. Hornfells says that too! <laughs> but if Feldspar disappeared, you might disappear too, right? You're not as good as Feldspar, so you should be really careful not to get lost. That is very true. There's our guy. We talk to you now. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is, is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Ah, uh, sorry. Oh, that's good news, isn't it? Okay, we're about to do it. Nice. Awesome. Open hatch. This is, this is it. Buckle up. Oh, this is that awesome crystal. What is that? Ship log. Timber hearth. Brittle hollow. Addle rock. What? Uh, 
village. The one and only Harthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on the planet. The Nomai statue in the observatory opens its eyes and looked at me. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So this is, uh, this is all that happens. A cave? Okay, I successfully repaired another satellite for Gossen. Rumor mode. Ooh. Gabro. Al says Gabro went back to Giant Steep to try to learn about the Nomai statue. Okay. I hear there are Nomai ruins somewhere on the Adel Rock. The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Adel Rock. Sounds like Esker is still stationed on the Adel Rock. They've been there by themselves for a while. Dark Bramble. The Interloper. What is that? Okay. This is helpful, though. Suit up. I guess. Return suit. Do we need to suit up for this? I guess not. Lift off landing camera. Oh. I see. Um. Let's do it. I wanted to go to where the smoke is. Woo, gosh. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. There. Whew. Right. How do I go there? Nope, 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 nope. God damn it. There. Oop, 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 shit! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay. I landed. That's good. <laughs> I did something. Amazing. I'm in a suit. I don't... Should I be in the suit? Maybe. Not the cleanest landing job. Hello, who are you? Hey, yo, hatchling. I thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? I was in space. I just wanted to check on you. Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back. So I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. So I crashed. Is that a dark bramble seed? Ooh. I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant seed. But it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before. And trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. That's right, he doesn't have a leg. Do you think it's extraterrestrial? It kind of looks like something that might come off of dark bramble. Whatever it is, uh, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. 
Best to get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first though. Don't want to set anybody to hecking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside, and anyway, I'm not gonna blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as the seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. He would know something about that. So how do... can I... launch a scout in it? What the hell? This is deep! Whoa! What? That was awesome! Blasted Seed did a lot of damage when it crashed. I liked this crater. I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? It definitely is. Hmm. This is going to be a chore to chop up, and no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? Maybe I'd better grab an extra axe or three just in case. Okay. Well, that's fun. Can I get in there? Ooh! Suit puncture detected? Okay. I did not expect that. Okay then. What else do we have here, if anything? Should I go to the moon? I think I might. And buckle up. Okay, let's see. Where do I find the moon? There. Can I autopilot myself? Yes. Was that what I was going for? Oh god! That does not look right. No, it really doesn't. I think this is it. Addle Rock, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I went before. Ooh, check this out. What is that? Whoa. Can I land on this? Oh gosh, I am all pocketed. <laughs> I want to land. <laughs> Not crash, but land. Am I on the ground? I guess I landed. I'll go check it out. Alright, what is this? What is this thing? Oh, that's so cool. 
<laughs> Seeing all- oh my gosh, is there a storm on that planet? Wow. Okay, let's- let's see what this is. Hello? What? What did we do? What happened? Where did you go? What? What is that? This is terrifying. That's very cool. Okay, so... No, come here. What about this? What is happening? What is it doing? Oh, it's following those for some reason. Huh. Okay. And this one is looking straight at the sun. I guess it makes sense. What does this do? No, no, no. You stay. You stay. Where are they going? They're not stopping. Why are they not stopping? Did I break it? Oh, a stair down. I don't think I saw that before. Hello? Coleus, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator. And it can hear and follow the signals from the Sun, Giants Deep, and Burl Hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. That's what I noticed. I see! Most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Private, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. The eye of the universe, huh? Okay. Thatch. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Cassava. Don't lose hope, Cassava. Okay, okay. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan into this place. We won't give up easily. Okay, I see. What about you? 
This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. And nothing else. Okay. Wow. So that's... That's why it was doing what it was doing. And this is supposedly the eye of the universe, huh? Okay. It kind of looks like a supernova. What do you do? Why are you like this? Oh! That's awesome. Thatch. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator. Anona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heart, the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Plume. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Okay. So Brittle Hollow seems to be another good place to go to. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Koenoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child bor born so long after the crash. Plume. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Okay! Uh, so Brittle Hollow is the place to go. Absolutely. Ooh. Okay, wow, wow. I've seen this ruin in other traveler's pictures, but seeing for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gotta get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. Oh, stars above. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's fun. Can I go even lower? I don't believe so. No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, let's go say hi to whoever is here. Uh, maybe stop this from moving so... so crazily. Let's... yeah, let's put you down there. That's fine. There. Perfect. Ooh! That's my ship. Okay. But that planet that I went to at first, I don't think I... I could land there. Ship log. Let's check it. This is like an investigation board. I love it. View entry. No my device. Yep. Eye of the universe. Oh, this is the Rybeck person. Got it. South Pole. Inside the seed. When I launch my scout into the seed that crashed on Timber Hearth, it ends up in a much bigger space filled with fog and thorny vines. Okay, how do I get into that seed though? Because I would like to. Alright, here we go. Too far, too far. Whew. 
Okay. What is this? Oh god! Oh god! Nope! Nope! Ah, shit! I need to work on that... ...landing situation. <laughs> I'm really not good at that. Okay, um... Did they have a flashlight? I did. Where are you? Are you here? No, you are not here. How did I lose it already? I swear I saw it. Oh. No, it's right there. Maybe I'm just not close enough. Or maybe... Let's try again. So this is the way. No, I am close enough. I just didn't look in the right place. Hello? Are you a crashed ship from the previous unfortunate soul? I can't even do anything with it. All right. Yeah, I don't think so. Okie dokie. Let's go. Okay. Hey, there's the flag. That's awesome. Um, oh god. Nope, 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 nope. Where was I going? Here, I think. Yeah, definitely here. Oh god. Too far. Okay, good. All right, where are we? There's more of these. Here, what is that? Hi. Chert's research note, property of Chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I'd posit the Adel Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on the other astral bodies of in the solar system. Okay, maybe. But wasn't I supposed to meet someone here? Oh, there's the satellite. Huh, okay. Well, let's see. Is there anything else for me to find here? Oh, 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 no, don't fly off. There's something. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> going somewhere. What a strange thing. The 
This is so bizarre. Oh my gosh, this planet is so close. Is this our sun? Why is it so red? All right. Oh, gosh. Right. Backling up. Backling? The sun is super red. Is there anything else on the Adel Rock for me to find? Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, I see something. Something there. Ooh, shit, shit. Did we land? Are we still? We are not landed. I don't think. Oh, God. Okay. There. I think. I think we're fine. Wow. I don't think it's always been this red. Ah! Hello? You are just hanging out. Why, why is the music going like this? What is happening? Can we talk to you? Hi. Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were la launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? Was that you whistling? Seems lonely up here. What is this place? Marl says hi. Yeah, was that you? Probably. Or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know? Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. What is happening? What? Okay, okay, okay. What, what, what? Can we... Please. What is happening? <gasps> The hell? The sun exploded. This is the same as that statue. We're going back in time. Something went through that and it exploded. Did I see that before? Am I? This is the start. Hello? Ready to lift this thing? Oh my god, did I just die? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before the launch, but if you ask me, it makes you a bit jumpy. Wow. So this is a loop. How safe would you say this thing is? What's my mission if once I'm in space? 
What else should I do before lift off? Huh. So, okay, so I still have the launch code, so I can just go again. Right? This works? It does! Okay, so some things stay. But I come back here. Because the sun explodes. <laughs> what in the world? Alright guys, so uh, this was the first episode of Outer Wilds and uh, I am so intrigued by this game. I don't know if I've been this intrigued about a game uh, for a long time, to be honest. Uh, we are experiencing a Groundhog's Day, essentially, and I am not entirely sure what to do about it, but I feel like the next time we pick this up, I am going to uh, probably start with that same person. What is this? Flying by? But yeah, um, I'm going to go back to the moon and uh, talk to Esker again, because I didn't really get to do that all that much since the sun was exploding, so uh, that put a little damper on our conversation. But um, And after that, it sounds like I should be going to the Brittle Hollow to uh, investigate whatever is happening on the south pole of it. So uh, we will probably do that. All right, uh, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did and I had so much fun. But uh, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe if this is the, <laughs> the type of content that you enjoy watching. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.